Today, someone is reaching for their stars with pocket change, while others burn billions for the same range. Hello and Jai Hind everyone. Today, we are going to talk about Indian Space Research Organization. The concept for a space agency for India was started in 1962 when Indian government formed a national committee on space research under the chairmanship of Vikram Sarabhai. And in 1969. we established indian space research organization named isro and in further 1925 we launched our first satellite named aryabhatta with the help of soviet union further we launched rohini 1 in sat 1b and after 1990 we started working for advanced rocket system that was pslb after 2000 we entered uh, for the a space uh, deep space uh, exploration in 2008 we uh, went to we went for chandrayaan 1 and we knew the uh, knew about the molecules of water presence on the moon surface the golden time came when in 2013 we in, uh, we became the first country to reach mars in the first attempt and in further 2017 we set a record for launching 104 satellite in a once and after that in most recent we have seen success of chandrayaan 3 where we landed on moon and if we talk about some future projects of isro then first is uh, in 2025 we will be accomplished our man uh, human uh, flight into a space mission that is gaganyaan and in further sukhyaan 1 we have we have also mission of uh, chandrayaan 4 and uh, aditya l2 uh, mangalyaan 2 and our most ambitious project that is a space station to build a space station if we talk about the challenges for isro then first definitely is fund we have a very limited budget if, uh, the upcoming um, uh, project that is chandrayaan 3 it has budget lesser than the most of hollywood sci-fi movies second is competition from the private space agencies like uh, spacex and blue origin third is the uh, technological gap for heavy rocket lifting we have only 8 ton capacity of our advanced uh, rockets if we compare to the nasa it has 130 ton and in uh, of spacex one it has 150 ton some other challenges like the Uh, we have we don't have any ecosystem for uh, private space uh, agencies if if in my conclusion friends india isro is the definitely a pride of india they have shown and proved that from the low budget they can achieve the things that nobody can believe if we give a good amount of budget so they can definitely be a global leader in the space sector thank you